party people. I'm super excited. I've been waiting to do this for I, a couple months probably. Um, today I'm going to cut my own hair. Don't try to talk me out of it because at this point I've already, it's already done. And then later today I feel like you know all those gift cards that have been piling up? I shared a little bit on my Instagram that I found something that I really want to buy from Dillard's. I've had that Dillard's gift card for 15, 14 years. I finally found something, so I think we're gonna uh, not waste this amazing haircut that I'm about to give myself. Hopefully it's amazing. And we're gonna take it to the mall. I'm gonna go to Dillard's, buy something real fancy. Uh, and then I have a Target pickup order. I had to buy some shoes for Eleanor. I need to go grocery shopping, so I don't know if I'll share that or not. I need to, I, I, so I got other things to do today. But first on the list of priorities is to cut this rat's nest of mine. I'm thinking like this short. I'm just kidding. I've cut my hair short several times in the past and while I like it in the moment, I always find that I just wait for it to grow back out. I just like having long hair and there's that. Maybe in the future I'll cut it uh, chin length again because that's what I've done. Um, but for today, I am probably just gonna cut, I don't know, this much off and I want to give myself layers. You guys, the past few weeks I've been going through YouTube trying to find like cut your hair, <laughs> cut your hair at home uh, things and I have cut my hair in the past. I cut, I actually cut Avelina's hair yesterday following a tutorial and it's the one that I thought I was gonna do on myself but then looking at it, it like, it barely made it, it like it gave her angles up front but nothing really changed in the back. And I was like, I need more than that. So I kept looking and I found the tutorial that I used like, I don't know, eight years ago when I cut my hair that I liked. So here's the short story long. I used to go to the salon. I don't wanna go there again. If I mess it up, it's whatever. Like I'll go to the salon, but I don't want to. Every time I go there, I show them pictures of Julia Roberts and I'm like, please give me this. <laughs> You know, because I want long layers, I want a little bit of volume, a little bit of texture in my hair, and then I come out looking like sleek McGeek, and the hairdresser's like, oh, do you like it? And I'm like, yeah, I love it. You know, that kind of thing. And I will say, the last haircut I got, like, they did give me one layer. They talked me out of doing more layers, which is what I wanted. They talked me out of it. So here it is from the back. It's not, this is just my hair. I don't do anything to it. I don't blow dry it. I barely brush it. So you can tell there's like one layer at the bottom. Actually, can you tell? Here, you can, here it is. Here's the layer. And they talked me out of getting more. Do you see how much hair I have? Please give me more. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do today. Let's do it. So the tutorial that I followed yesterday to cut Avelina's hair, you like separated it into like three sections and like did it up front and it looks really nice. But again, it had nothing going on in the back, okay? It was like party in the front, business in the back, and that's not how I live my life. I want party all the way around. So, I kept looking on YouTube, and I finally found the tutorial that I followed several years ago when I did it myself, and I was like, oh, okay, this is okay. I am a little nervous, because I don't want to cut off too much, but I also want to cut off enough where it makes a difference. So, this is the length of my hair, and I wanna keep the length, maybe like that. Let me bring this around, use it as my guide here. So as long as I don't cut literally all of this off, all of this, <laughs> then we'll be okay. Okay, time to snippety snip here. Is anyone else nervous about this? Okay, I think she tied it up front here. Oh gosh, looking good already. First of all, when I cut Avelina's hair yesterday, it did not look like this. And that's the tutorial I followed. So I found this one, and I feel like it's time to do it. Wait, okay. All right, put it up. Going too fast. Bed up. Slow down. Make me look like Julia Roberts. Where's her ponytail? Need a better angle. Okay. Okay. Step one. Done. Okay, she cut a whole lot off. I said I was gonna go big, so I'm gonna cut this much. <laughs> it's fine, it's like, if I mess up, I can just go get more, like I have a lot of hair, you know? Someone will fix it, maybe. Okay. <sighs> All right, I'm nervous. Don't be nervous, Kim, just do it. Okay. Okay. It's just hair. That's it, it's just hair. 
All right. Sometimes I feel bad about cutting off just like this little amount of hair. I can't really see what I'm doing. Because I think, oh, you can just chop off like five more inches and donate it. It'll be fine. Come on, just do it, Kim. Can I do more? <laughs> You're like, just cut it already. Here goes nothing. <laughs> All right, point of no return. You know, feeling good about that. All right, point cut that crap. Oh, I cut my finger. I'm bleeding. <laughs> These are so sharp. I got a wound. All right, it's looking great. In the other lady's tutorial, she was so reassuring, like, oh, don't worry, it's gonna look so pretty in the end. And I'm pretty sure I need some of that reassurance right about now. <laughs> oh, I just looked down. Don't look down! That was a mistake. It's fine. Bleeding. There's hair everywhere. It's fine. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I'm feeling fresh. Am I feeling fresh or am I just feeling like there's no way out? Oh, I don't know how to feel! <laughs> there's definitely more texture. Okay. This was a mistake. All right, I need to bandage that up. Call the paramedics. I just need a band-aid. You know, I'm losing so much blood here, I'm shaking. Oh, all right, crisis averted. Okay, what's next? Um, I feel like you could be done here. I mean, clean up this layer a little bit, but like, that looks pretty good. How's the back look? Right? Ooh, should I shake it out? Oh, wow, Kim, I'm sorry. Was I a hairdresser in my previous life? I feel like already that looks better than any haircut I've got at a salon. I'm just saying, we're not done yet. I don't know why I've been putting this off for so long. All right, okay, what's next? Around the ears. Hers is a little above the crown. Okay, the next one, she goes, maybe the eyebrows, maybe the crown. I don't know, she doesn't talk about it. Just goes around. Is that is that a hefty, longer layer? Like, is this good? No, that's good, okay, that's good. <laughs> so I was cutting Avelina's hair yesterday and she was kind of hesitant about it. I was like, I cut dad's hair, I cut Wentworth's hair, I used to cut my friend's hair, I used to cut my sister's hair, I used to cut my hair all the time. I was like, it'll be great. Pretty much the same thing I used to tell my friends too, like, oh, it'll be great, don't worry about it. <laughs> and it always turned out fine. Okay, is this too much? I don't know. Okay, how's it looking? Okay, not so good. Oh, she combs it a lot. Okay, and then she cuts off probably that much. More, more hair, okay. Well, we're committed at this point. Are we though? I don't know. All right, here we go. Layer number two. Don't cut your finger this time, Kim. Oh boy, that's, that's a lot of hair. Well, that doesn't look good at all. <laughs> okay, gotta get those scraggly bits. And the reason we point cut is so the layers kind of blend together. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, the pile of hair is getting bigger. All right, I'm just gonna brush it and like see if it's kind of even. Like, no, it's not even, man. That's not even. Just a little snippety snip, snippety snip. Would you let me cut your hair? I bet you're like, let's wait and see how yours turns out. Okay, second layer. How's it look? Oh, wow. I feel like I didn't cut any length off at all. Like, it is still crazy. It's down to my butt. It's down to my butt. But how do the layers look? I feel like that second cut didn't, well, yeah, well, it definitely did something. <laughs> it definitely did that. Okay, next one. And you go from your eyebrows up and around your crown. And I think, this will just help frame your face. Although I don't know, cause she doesn't talk in the video. She talks in the beginning, I'm gonna cut my hair, and then the rest is just up to you. That's not a triangle at all, is it? Is it supposed to be a triangle? I don't know. Oh gosh, autoplay, someone else is on. I don't trust her. Oh yeah, 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 she, has, she doesn't have a triangle. I've watched too many tutorials, okay? Here's what she did, eyebrows to the back of the head. You can do it, it's gonna look so pretty in the end. Just trust me. That's what I need to hear, just trust me. I have a feeling, since I didn't cut a lot of length off, 
in a week I'm just gonna repeat the process and cut like four more inches, but let's see how this goes for now, okay? Next layer, cut a little more off. How much did she cut off? Oh, barely any. All right, I'm gonna cut that much, probably more than her. Here we go. According to her, we are finished, but I think we're gonna frame the face a little bit. Let's see. Oh, oh that's a short layer. Oh, that's shorter than I was expecting. Okay. I love it. It's okay, it's okay. It's gonna look so pretty. Okay. Okay, well, let's just check it. I do see the layers, so I like that. Let me just part it up front, see what it looks like. Oh, holy. Oh, holy. If I, if I was hairdresser, I'd be the worst. Like, ooh. I'm pleasantly surprised with how this looks in the front. There was only one time that I got a haircut that I liked. And I was on vacation. I was in Texas. Alex was in tech school. And I was like, I love this haircut, but it's not like I can get it again because I'll never see her again. Okay, well why does this side look so much better than this side? <laughs> you see this side has like, gosh, so much more texture, right? And then this one, I guess has similar. But I'm gonna soften these edges up just a tinge. Uh, for the most part, it is still long as heck. I really thought I was gonna get rid of some length and I could just like chop off the ends here, but whatevs. I didn't want to get like too scissor happy. Yeah, but this this needs some fixing. Okay, there. I'm just gonna like blend it. You know what I mean? Amazing. Still needs a little help. Okay, that looks softer, doesn't it? Well, I never wear my hair down anyway. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. This is like looking so ridiculous. I'm just gonna pull it out to the side, like vertically. And then cut it horizontally and I think this gives me a nice little shaping yeah that's better okay now here is the downfall of having a ton of layers when I go to braid my hair it's like gonna stick out everywhere and that's why I was hesitant to do this because I wear my hair in braids 90% of my life just amuse me tell me it looks better <laughs> people are probably like it looks the same it's so long cut it all off Whatever, cut your hair all off. This is really bothering me up front here. Okay, I feel like it's just getting worse the more and more I cut, so I'm just gonna stop. And there she is, Julie Roberts, is that you? Julia Roberts. Well, you can't deny there's way more texture, so there's that. Well, a little bit of dry shampoo. I would style it, but I don't know how to do that. <laughs> There's so much body in it. Hold on, I think I have a hair dryer somewhere. Okay, honestly, um, I do like it. It kind of gives me that like 70s vibe. Maybe if I did like one more layer that was like super short, I'm about to do curtain bangs, you guys. Definitely talk me out of that one. But um, I'm gonna like do my best to style it. Make it look a little sleek. Yes, I had to look up a tutorial on how to do anything. So I'm just using my flat iron for probably the first time in, I don't know, eight years. Ooh, look at that curl. So bouncy. How the heck do people do this every day of their lives? Oh God, it's hot. All right, here we go. And then you curl it. Okay, take two. I'm going slow poke McGroke style. Ooh! Oh wow, everybody. Everybody, everywhere. This is what I've done so far and it's been two hours. <laughs> it looks great, keep going. It's gonna look so pretty at the end. Why am I wasting my time? I finished one side. I don't know how people endure doing that all the time. I mean, I guess the results are like, okay. Uh, my hair personally doesn't hold a curl. Um, I'm just trying to give it a little bit of like sleekness and I don't know, I just wanna make it look nice because that's what they do at the hair salon. That looks nice. Feeling like Farrah Fawcett with this middle part. Um, okay, I'm gonna do the other side. I think I finally figured it out. 
just in time because I'm almost done. <laughs> Ooh, la 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 la. Can you see this? Can you see this? All right, here it is. Um, really, I did want to keep a lot of length. I would like it if it was a little bit shorter, but it did give me the layers that I wanted. Oh, um, I like it for now. I think it's great. It's hair. It's fine. Here's the back. Does it look okay? Okay. Cool. There's all the hair that I chopped off, which seemingly doesn't seem like that much now. I just had to run outside and like deal with the kids and stuff. And pretty sure all my uh, curls fell out. So cool, all that work really, really paid off. How does it look now? Still looks nice, still long as heck, man. I might cut some more off. It's undecided at this point, but whatever. Well, before I run to the mall and show off my stylish new cut, uh, which has completely fallen out, by the way. Meredith's playing Play-Doh right here. I'm gonna throw something in the crock pot. I just went on Pinterest to look for a recipe. I have pork loins, they're frozen. I'm thawing them out a little bit in the sink right now. Ooh, this is good Play-Doh. And it is called, I don't know, brown sugar, balsamic glaze, something. So I'm just gonna throw it in and then we'll have it tonight with some corn on the cob that I have. Cause that's pretty much the only vegetable in our house. I really need to go grocery shopping. So let me throw that together with you. If you're gonna make this, here's what you're going to need. I have the pork loin in the crock pot. There's actually two in there. So the recipe calls for two pounds of pork loin. I'm pretty sure that's more. I wanna say that's a lot more. <laughs> maybe double. So the rest you're going to need salt, pepper, and I have salt, pepper, and garlic, or I can just do salt and then peppers in here. Sage, which I don't have, but sage is an Italian seasoning, so I feel like more is more. Cocoa aminos or soy sauce, some balsamic vinegar. I don't really have that, but I do have this balsamic glaze and I feel like that's good enough. Some cornstarch, brown sugar, and garlic. And let's just toss it all in the pot. Let's start off with the brown sugar. Half a cup of this. I'm just gonna add a little bit more, a little bit, because why not? I also feel like if you didn't wanna get all these ingredients out, you can just use like barbecue sauce. One tablespoon of cornstarch. Oh, it says one clove of garlic. Well, I chopped up six, so there's that. So I was thinking of just doing barbecue sauce and a packet of ranch seasoning, and I feel like that would be good too. Maybe add some butter in there or some kind of liquid. We need a quarter cup of balsamic glaze and a little more for fun. Since I added so much garlic, I'm just gonna add normal pepper and salt. Two tablespoons of soy sauce or cocoa aminos. One teaspoon of ground sage. A half a cup of water. I'm sure you can mix that together. I'm not even, I didn't read the directions. I literally just read the ingredient list. It, you might have to mix it together and then save the cornstarch until the end. But I figured, I don't know, just dump it all in. <laughs> if you wanna read the instructions, you go ahead and do that. It's just not my kind of thing. I will say this smells really, really good. It is a nice change up from your normal average everyday like barbecue sauce, pulled pork, you know? To make sure I have everything. All right, good, that was simple enough. I'm just gonna cover this and then cook it until dinner time. Okay, I just cleaned up the kitchen. I should have showed you a before shot, but it's whatever, there were, it was covered in chaos. Nothing new here, right? Uh, before I start running some errands, I wanted to, or oh my gosh, you know what I ordered the other day? I almost forgot. Okay, two things. I want to um, measure the front door, and I ordered something offline. Where is it? Okay, I found it. It was in the bedroom. I ordered it the other day. I, I have seen so many people use this thing and rave about it, and finally I just said, fine, I'll get it. And I guess we can test it out together today. It is a cleaning tool. I plan on doing like a spring cleaning. I don't want to say series. God, what do my hands smell like? Not so good. It smells like pennies or something. Like dirty pennies. Maybe it's the box. Yes. And 
anyway, I want to do some spring cleaning and I thought this little baby will help me out. I thought I got the gray one. The gray one was more affordable. They must have just sent me the green one. Unless this is the gray one. Maybe I got the green one. I mean, I definitely got the green one. Anyway, uh, cool. I was worried. I didn't know if I had to like charge it or whatever. It's the Bissell Steam Shot. All the cool cleaning gurus are doing their thing with this. And I was like, you know, after seeing it for probably a year, I was like, okay, I guess I'll give it a try. And what really tipped me over the edge is I saw someone I know on Instagram using it and they, they were using it on their grout. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll do it. So this one comes with a bunch of different accessories. I guess you use different things depending on what you're cleaning. I don't know, I'm just gonna put this one on, add some water. Where do we put the water? I could read the directions, but will I? Water tank is under pressure. It's gotta be where the water goes. Cool. You know where I was looking the other day? In our laundry room. That's a high traffic area. Um, and the grout in there is not looking so hot. So let's give this a go. Let's give it a go. I don't know if you can really tell how dirty it is. Okay, look, up here, they must have had a rug here because this is what it's supposed to look like and this is what it actually looks like. So pretty grody, pretty gray and nasty and frasty. Let's put this thing to the test. Look, over here too, the grout looks pretty good. Maybe they had some kind of runner here. I don't know, I feel, I feel like if I had a rug here, um, cause that's the garage to the outside. I feel like if I had a rug here, it would just be a tripping hazard for all my kids, mostly me, I'm pretty clumsy. All right, let's work on this, this area. We gotta wait for it to uh, give us the green light, I think. I didn't read the directions, I'm just assuming. Oh, okay, maybe it just turns off. Time to Time to clean with the power of steam. Jeez, okay, first of all, that is a lot of water. Am I supposed to scrub it? I don't really know. It's not doing anything but gushing out a ton of water. Okay, first of all, it's gonna like flood in here. There's so much dang water. Let me try to pick some of it up. This little spot looks real good. Okay, hold on, because I just came out and I grabbed a different attachment. I feel like my friend was using that one on grout, but I feel like this one is more fitting, right? Because it's a line. And now that I walk back in, I'm like, holy dang smokes. That is a clean grout line compared to the rest of this crap. In person, you can definitely tell. All right, so now I'm just gonna do the rest of this garbage. Holy, my feet are gonna catch fire. Okay, well, maybe because it's still wet, it doesn't look that great. Uh, I'm undecided on this. I'm gonna have to use it some more. I mainly got it because I thought, oh, how fantastic would it be on these sliders? Like these get real messy and especially in the corners and stuff. So I definitely see people use it on their windows. I thought it would be great for right there too. Speaking of going outside, I have to measure out here. We'll have to. It's been on my list of things to do to buy a welcome mat for our front door. I've never had double doors before. So the welcome mat that I want, I don't know if it's just gonna be swallowed up by these double doors, so I'm gonna measure. And then I also, okay, there's a story attached to this. Isn't there always? Front stoop stories. So Alex ordered something the other day and it got sent to our other house. So I had to go there and pick it up and we have renters in there. And I walked up to their front door and it just looked so nice. And she had a welcome mat out with like, she's like a fancy rug, not a fancy rug, but like, you know how people put like a rug and then the welcome mat? I've never done that because I don't really care that much. Um, and then she had like plants flanking the door. And I just thought, I don't, it wasn't that I was 
jealous. I don't know the emotion or word that's attached to this. I guess I was inspired. I saw that and I was like, inspired. Man, I should do that. You know, I should get a nice welcome mat for our front door because that looks really nice, you know? So <laughs> I was looking them up and first I was looking up ones that were like, we've got a lot of kids here or whatever it says because I think that's funny. I don't know. So then I was like, oh, maybe we should get something with our last name on it. And then I was like, that I don't know. But then I started looking up lake house welcome mats. Um, people want to sell them for about a million and a half dollars. And I'm like, why? And then I thought, oh, maybe I'll make my own welcome mat. And that was the thought that I had, you know, when we first moved in, because I wanted to buy it when we first moved in. It never happened. So I was like, oh, I can make one myself for cheaper. But reality is once I get all the materials to make it, it's probably just as much money as me buy. Do you know what I mean? It's like that meme. It's like, why should I buy something for $50 when I can get all the materials to make it myself for $200? <laughs> Needless to say, I still, we still don't have a welcome mat. Um, so I found one on either Etsy or Amazon. I can't remember. I oh, know it's Etsy. It's Etsy. And, um, so it's 30 inches. Okay, okay, that's a big welcome mat here. Well, is it a big welcome mat? Yeah, that's pretty big. So that will be the size of the mat that sells like, welcome to the lake house. I'll try to put a picture on the screen so you can see what it looks like and you can tell me, yeah, that's cute, or no, Kim, keep looking. That's okay, right? Because that's the scale of our front door. Yep, there's that ghost again that lives with us. And then if I buy a larger mat underneath because I saw some on Amazon that I thought were cute, and of course I'll measure that too. Should I get the mat underneath to cover from, from the whole length or just slightly bigger than the welcome mat? And is that too small? <laughs> oh, now I'm looking at, it's 30 inches by 23 inches. So here's the 23 inch. So that's how far out it will go. That's a pretty big welcome mat, right? Okay, we've talked about this enough. So now I'm looking for the rugs to put under the welcome mat. Is that black or blue? Oh, that's black. That one's cute, but um, it's only 24 inches by four foot by three inches length, which covers, oh, and then they have one three feet by five feet. I don't even have rugs in my house this big. All right, I'm just gonna get the, uh, if, it, if it looks bad, then it's whatever, it's fine. It's only people's first impression when they walk up, you know? All right, now I have to order the one off Etsy, the most important one. You guys know I'm fickle and I have a hard time making decisions. Like, look at all of these options where we can have life is better at the Wadsworth Family Lake House, life is better at the Lake House, or just welcome to the Lake House. Oh, and then the different fonts. It's like so many options. I don't have the mental capacity for this. Oh, great, another option. Look, I can get 18 by 30 inches. Oh, 18 by 30 or 24 by 35. Oh, the price. Okay, I made it out on my way to, oh crap, I, I guess I'm going to the mall first. I automatically am going to the mall. Okay, let me tell you a story about that little story. Let me tell you a little story about a Dillard's gift card that I got 14 years ago as a wedding gift and never used it. Today's the day. I'm really excited. Ex big exciting news, you guys. I finally figured out what I'm gonna spend. It's so hard because Dillard's, everything they sell is so dang expensive. And for years I've been looking, thinking, what can I buy here that wouldn't cost me five times more than what I can buy anywhere else. You know what I mean? Like one time we needed a toaster. So I was like, okay, let me look at Dillard's. One time I needed like baby onesies. If you wanna spend $50 on baby onesies, you go ahead and do go to Dillard's. But the other day I was at Ulta and I was smelling perfumes. I don't really wear perfumes, but on the occasion, I feel like I could have a perfume, you know? So I was smelling some and I fell in love with one. It is Philosophy Amazing Grace. And I smelled it and I, I was like, this is the most magical thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. So, uh, it's really expensive at Ulta. But at Dillard's, they have a set, a three-piece set that is $60. And so, the gift card isn't for much. It's only for $50. I would only be spending a little bit. And I feel like that's justified. And then I kind of like 
guilt set in. And I was like, well, should I be buying something for the home? Should I, listen, I've been looking for 14 years trying to find something. At first I would, thought I would buy a dish set or pots and pans or whatever. But when I tell you everything at Dillard's is so expensive, I'm not lying. So I'm gonna take my happy bum on to the mall, which I never go to the mall. <laughs> because um, have you been to the mall lately? Actually, this mall isn't so bad. It's actually quite nice. So um, I'm gonna drive there and then I'll show you. I, I don't know where else I'll be in the mall, but definitely Dillard's. Well, I made it to Dillard's today and the mall is popping. Good thing I wore my coolest outfit. Let's see, let's see what I'm gonna buy, shall we? See if the gift card still works. <laughs> I checked it, I think last year and it was still fine, but who the heck knows? Anything can happen. Take a look at this place. Look, woman across the room for Easter, and you can get a matching little dress for your kiddo. All right, let's see how much. Oh, just $62. Cool. It's a real thing. Look, it's a little uh, photo op. How funny. Oh, look, it's my twin. I used to want uh, this perfume, La Vie en Belle. Look, I found it. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Uh, I don't see any gift sets, so I might be going home empty handed and that makes me wanna cry. Okay, so they don't have the set in the store, but they do have it online. Shipping is an extra $10. Oh my gosh, did I tell you about the welcome mat? I don't know if I told you about the welcome mat. It smells so good, you guys. Um, but I don't know if my gift card will work if I order online, so I'm gonna try that. If it doesn't work, then she said wait till Mother's Day, they'll get a lot of gift sets back in. Uh, did I tell you about the welcome mat? I'm gonna go check and see if I did. <laughs> Look, they have a big cat rescue experience at the mall, and it is popping. <laughs> How funny is this? Uh, yeah, they can't find stores to bring to the mall, so they have a lot of these. They have like little play places and stuff. I stopped into Bath and Body Works because how can I not? And look at this candle holder. I'm crying. And the scent that's in it is strawberry pound cake. I almost got this one for free last year, but I didn't because I ended up not getting any candles at all. They have one that smells like sunscreen, but I can't find it anywhere. We do need some hand soap, so I don't know. I'm gonna sniff around. I quite enjoy that one. Oh my gosh, stop it right now. <laughs> okay, so the story about the welcome rug, I went ahead and added it to the cart. I got the one off Amazon, which I feel like is just gonna be pretty as it is, right? And then I went to order the one from Etsy, which was so expensive to begin with. Added it to cart, shipping was $15, and I just couldn't, so I didn't. <laughs> $15 for shipping? It would have been like $85 for a welcome mat. I couldn't do it. I always get lost in department stores. I just tried to exit and I was like, this is not where I came in at. Uh, my mom, we used to shop in these growing up. I don't know how, I don't know how. So dang expensive, but it's just so fancy here and people are like getting their makeup done and stuff. It's cute, just not for me. <laughs> okay, I got my order pickup, but I figured while I'm here, there's one more thing that I wanna buy for uh, my like kitchen deep clean spring cleaning thing let me get it here it is this power paste it's by like the scrub mommy brand which i guess is like a really popular thing is this the scrub mommy sponge or scrub daddy i don't know i thought i i got that one the flower one and i thought that was a scrub mommy i guess not here's the scrub daddy i think a mommy has like softness on one side Oh yeah, this one does. All right, well, let me be trendy and grab that. Uh, and then I'll get this uh, power paste. My, I have found that my stove is very hard to clean because um, it's like a flat top. I just never had a problem with it before, but this one is rough, so I'm gonna give that a try. Now I'm using my Hooked on Phonics skills. There is a scrubber with the paste in here, so I don't need to buy this one. Just saved four bucks. I'm at the longest light in Tampa. You guys, I went to Sprouts after Target. I just needed to get some produce. Yes, I'm eating unwashed grapes. Alex is gonna come after me before you do. Don't worry about it. Oh wow, a green light. Well, that was short-lived. 
I'm eating grapes on the way home because I need to eat something. I'm not feeling that great. And I went to the like prepared food section and I found a snack pack. It had hummus, carrots, like two pieces of broccoli, and some diced up cucumbers that looked like they were diced up yesterday. I was like, okay, like that looks good. Let me eat, let me grab that. Six dollars and fifty cents. Are they joking? Six dollars and fifty cents. So of course, I know you know what I did. I walked my happy little bum to the hummus, grabbed some hummus, then I grabbed some carrots, then I grabbed some cucumbers that were two for a dollar. Two whole cucumbers for a dollar. Already had broccoli in my cart. And for probably what cost me six dollars and fifty cents, I can make about ten of those snack packs. I almost keeled over right there. And then I thought, well, I could just eat grapes on the way home. <laughs> And I think they're organic, so we're safe. Safer, maybe, I don't, know, I don't care. Here's my massive sprouts haul. That's all I got, yeah. I'm going to, these were the last two strawberries, they're fr Florida strawberries. I'm gonna make that snack pack with these cucumbers. I got zucchini, bananas, kiwi. I got these for their lunch. They're little fake chicken nuggets and broccoli couple mangoes, and everyone's been eating the grapes. Great. It's time for dinner. We just peeled some potatoes. So those are going, and then the corn is in here too. And the meat looks and smells pretty good. Doesn't it smell good, Alex? It smells like good gravy too. This gravy actually like, oh, smells so good. What do we put in here that makes it, Oh, look at the bottom of that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to crush this meat up. It might be too tough. I might just have to cut it. Oh man. I don't know, I'm gonna work at it for a little bit. That took me about five hours. It's midnight. I'm ready for bed. I almost forgot I did buy some hummus, a big container of hummus, and then carrots. We've just been eating them and I made a snack pack for myself. Saved uh, $6.50, kind of. Hmm. Yeah, cucumber is juicier. I quite enjoy that better. I'm gonna share my secret with cold corn. I mean, corn on the cob. What is cold corn even? Uh, when it's cooked, I hope it's cooked. I didn't even check it. It's whatever. We've ran out of time at this point. I put it in a bag. I boiled it on the stove top. Oh, cool. Okay, half a stick of butter. I'm putting in each bag because I split them up. They're pretty big. Sometimes I put a whole stick depending on how I'm feeling, how I want my cholesterol levels to be. And then the corn will melt in the bag and it's really easy to coat the corn when the butter's like all melted rather than trying to get your kids to like, you know, slather on the butter with a knife or whatever. So let that go. My famous mashed potatoes, also known as the Pioneer Woman mashed potatoes, Call for, I don't know, one or two sticks of butter, one stick of cream cheese. I'm just gonna add a little bit of pepper in here. You can also do heavy cream and half and half or sour cream. Uh, my kids are allergic to everything, so I just do this dairy-free butter. I gotta get some salt in here with two hands. Uh, I have this rice milk. We're out of the oat milk, which I find is creamier, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And then I just blend it all up. Okay, that's nice and fluffy and creamy and dreamy. Mashed potatoes also freeze really well. I like to put them on like parchment paper, like cookie scoop, freeze them, flash freeze them, and then put them into like a Ziploc bag, and then whenever you need some, you take a couple lumps out and melt it, or you can even put them, put it in the microwave, and it's just as good. All right, we're enjoying the snacks by the front stoop. Uh, enjoying life. This is pretty much the part of the day where I'm tapped out. I just don't have any more energy. I feel really nauseous. It's just not a, not a great time of day for me. I feel like I didn't get much done today, but that's okay. Alex and Wentworth are taking the garbage cans down right now. 
Uh, but that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed your time with me. Maybe it gave you some inspiration to give yourself your own haircut. I'm just saying. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.